I'm council member Russell Betts, and I want to have a little conversation about vacation rentals in our city. Now, it's been years since our city council put an ordinance in place to deal with vacation rentals. And until recently, they have not been a problem. They've mostly been quiet. I know my next door neighbor had one, and even though it was an active vacation rental, it was quiet. It was nothing more than you would hear from any neighbor across the fence, so, you know, conversation, like conversation, and you know, really no disturbance. It was fine. But in the last year, we've been getting uh, quite a few more complaints. They've started to pop up. And as council members, we get those calls, and you know, we got to deal with them. Hey, it's a wild party until all hours of the night, um, many nights of the week. Can you help me deal with this? Now, of course, people are calling the police to report the loud disturbance, but by that time, it's already a problem. By the time it's gotten to the point where you got to call the police, the neighbors are already disturbed, and that's kind of like solving the problem after the horse is already out of the barn. We need to, to deal with it. Now, a couple of cities have taken some action on vacation rentals because apparently they've gotten to be a much bigger problem in those cities. Uh, Cathedral City is putting a ban on them, I think, for at least a short period of time. And La Quinta, the city of La Quinta, just enacted a 90-day moratorium on new vacation rental uh, registrations. Now, I've met with some of the residents who are having problems with the vacation rentals next to them. And part of the dealing with it is it's, it's nearly impossible to get in touch with the owner. I mean, I'd like to be able to call them at the time the commotion is taking place. And uh, I imagine the call going something like this. Hey, uh, this is council member Russell Betts in Desert Hot Springs and I'm getting some complaints about the uh, vacation rental next door uh, that you have in our city. And maybe they'll say, well, hey, it's a little late to be calling, don't you think? You know, I'm maybe calling them at 12 midnight, one in the morning when this party's raging. And I go, well, that's kind of the point. You need to get on the phone and tell them to knock it off. You're right. It is too late for this call. Part of the problem with that, though, is that Airbnb seems to really go out of their way to make it hard to get the owner's number. And uh, so, you know, we have to try and figure out how to solve that part of it. The way to deal with this, and as I've researched this issue, I, I was, happened to look around the neighborhoods in Big Bear, and I saw each vacation rental has a big plaque up on the... Uh, front of the house. It says how many occupants are allowed to be there, the occupancy number, how many vehicles are allowed to be parked, and uh, also has a contact number so you can actually call them and it's all very visible. Now I'm not sure I like the idea of a plaque being so visible because it strikes me as, you know, hey in the neighborhood you look at all these vacation rentals, um, but there needs to be a way that we can get uh, something like that put in place. And I think somewhere that a phone number of the owner needs to be visibly posted, maybe like the address on the house, it's easily visible from the street so the neighbor can pick up the phone and call. Um, and then I saw on one of the websites where uh, the, there's a vacation rental owner and he said, hey, the neighbors killed my vacation rental. And he said, it was my fault. I was letting it be too much of a raging party. And I thought I was renting to responsible people, but I wasn't. So he came up with this device, which is a, an alert, a noise alert. And what happens is if the noise gets to be above a certain decibel, then the, um, it'll ring his phone with a, or send a text to his phone and say, hey, and then he'll call that place and say, hey, guys, tone it down. You're going to get me in trouble. Stop it. And uh, that's been effective. Anyhow, I've met with our city staff. I've asked them to look into both of these ideas and whatever else they can come up with. Um, if vacation rentals can continue in Desert Hot Springs without being a disturbance like they were next door to me, that's fine. Everybody's a winner. But uh, at the point that you've got a raging party every night uh, next to your home and you're trying to sleep, get up for work, um, it's just not acceptable and we've got to deal with that. So, all right. This is Russell Betts, uh, city council member here in Desert Hot Springs, uh, just bringing you a local issue. And... Uh, Certainly welcome any uh, comments or concerns that you might have on any other issues. You can always reach me. My phone number is down there at the bottom of the screen. Please call me anytime. And if you happen to have one of the vacation rentals, and I don't care if it's midnight, one, two in the morning, ring my phone. Uh, I want to hear from you because uh, it's just not right that you would have to be disturbed like that. Okay, thanks. And we'll be back to you with more messages soon.